Hello, everybody! As you probably know, it's me, the Red Mage Crow, and welcome back. Yes, we are back with Digimon Survive! Ooh. So, we're finally at this point where we're out of the very first pre... I mean, was it the first? Might not have been the first. Was it the first? Anyways, it, it was kind of like the free action where Rio survived! We'll go with that. Yee! So! Oh, good. You're all here. Uh, how can we say no? You seem so desperate. You're one to talk! You're a bundle of nerves until just now! Hey, you promise not to mention that! Yes, we are at that point where we're going to go save Miyu. I should also probably pull up the uh, jazz I'm going to need in order to uh, get everybody's affinity up because, uh, yeah, we want to make sure that we do that. Nora was pretty upset before. Looks like he's in better shape now. Not to mention the others. Sorry to make you worry about me all the time, Takuma. I'm feeling better now. Oh, well, that's good, Owie. Always good. Yeah, he's really bounced back. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Where am I on this, actually? I don't actually know. Hold up. Wait. Uh, let me help you. Free action. We now have 11 free movement. I don't know where I am. Here we are. Okay, that's where I need to be. Woo! I'm sure it was because of you, Takuma! Haruto Miyuki. Or, Miyuki. Thanks for coming, too. Sure. Sure. So, about us going to rescue Miyu. Right. We just start by saying something. Really didn't want to get you all involved in this, but. Thanks. Wow. You guys hear that? I think Kaito just actually showed some appreciation just now. Minoru! No need to be sarcastic, my boy. That's right, Kaito was just being sincere. No need to make fun of him for that. Jerk. Jerk face. Jerky, jerky, jerky. Minoru can't take anything seriously. Can he? What? Don't you get it? I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Yeah, and everyone is really upset right now. But sometimes Minoru can go too far. Listen, Kaito. You don't have any reason to feel like you're dragging us into this. Yeah! You're just on a rescue me anyway! If anything, I think we owe you an apology. We all knew you were anxious to start looking for Miu. Sorry, we took so long. No, it's cool. After what happened yesterday, I get it. Anyway, will you help me out? Hey, you know, actually, that brings up a good point. Do you think... Did Ryo say anything about the hands? Did he know the hands were about to get him? How does he feel about that? I don't recall. Hmm. Very curious. Like, how, how close do you think he knew about... I mean, he does say that Kunamon saved him. So I guess that means that he knew he was close to death. Well, he must know about him, I guess. You bet. Hey, not so fast. Look, given the situation, I hate to bring this up. Are you serious about this? What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what it sounds like. You know how dangerous it is out there? Remember the enemy monsters? The strange fog! Maybe things worked out for us yesterday. But we don't know if that's true for me. Oh, Rio, my boy! He's speaking up against Suji! Hell yeah! 
<laughs> Shuji, that's totally not cool. You're telling Kaito to face his sister? Might be dead? That was oddly worded, and I'm sorry, but like, you know what I mean. Gunaman, get the knife ready. You. No, I'm just trying to look at this objectively. So you're saying me is objectively doomed? How dare you! Hey, no need for this to get violent. Don't forget we got little kids here. I'm scared. Scared. Sorry. What you're saying is the one thing I will not accept. I, I have a responsibility for the lives of everyone here. I'm the leader. It's up to me to weigh the options and make the most prudent decision. Don't give me that. You're just looking for an excuse to cover your own cowardice. Aito, stop. That's enough. I am not a coward! Maybe a hothead like you can't see it, but as the oldest one here, I have a responsibility! Yuji, please! You should stop too! Shut up! Not another word from you! Yuji, please try not to get so worked up! Kaito has his own responsibility. He's Miu's older brother. That's why he's so desperate. I... I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> As if a spineless creep like you could even understand how I feel. You have no idea how much responsibility goes into being a big brother. But now you're calling me irresponsible. Oh, you're never gonna get anywhere if this keeps up. I don't like it when everyone fights like this. Yeah, me neither. I know I should stop this argument before it goes on much longer, but how? I side with Kaito? Respect Shuji's opinion. Or try to enlist help from somebody else. Try to enlist help, because that's the moral thing to do. Hey, Minoru! Say something! What? M me? Alright. Uh, what do you say we take a vote? Vote? I don't know. People's lives are on the line here. <laughs> Just kidding. Minoru! I mean, I don't know what to say. Anyway, uh, why don't we split up? And one group can search while the other stays here. I don't like that. If you want to look for Miu, we should all go. How are you against all my ideas? Can you even ask for my opinion then, Takuma? I'm sorry. Forget it. I know I asked for your help, but it's not worth all this trouble. So long. I'm out of here. Stop going off on your own! Out of my way! Shuji! Kaito! Both of you enough! Nani? Nani? Whoa. You should shut them up. And this was ba- Oh my god, wait! So this was, uh, freaking, like, the moment where we should have realized that she did have some leadership quality because she shut the both of them up! My girl! Good love, Owie. Yes, that was quite impressive. I didn't realize how we could get so loud. What is the point of you two fighting like this? We're wasting time! Kaito is fighting with Shuji, going to help rescue Miu? Well, no, but... Shuji, you keep talking about how dangerous this is. But do you never intend to leave? I didn't say that. Obviously, we need to find Miu. We also need to try and find a way home. At least, that's what I think. 
Huh? Why now it gets so quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> he was really picking up steam there. And then I guess she got self-conscious. He got nothing to be ashamed of, Howie. That was incredible just now. Um, uh, no, um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so carried away. No, Aoi, you were right. I'm sorry. Me too. Sorry, I kind of lost it. Well, sounds like we're all agreed. Going to rescue Miu. Uh, Inoru? Who gave you the final say? What? Somebody had to say it, right? Kunamon holds up the knife. Kunamon, you, 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 you got this, my man. You! And there we go! The final word had to be said by Kunamon. Ew! Sorry. You uh, So, where do we go? I think yesterday we decided to check the amusement park. Also, Kunamon, remember? Pearl Run? Don't need the knife, buddy. Phew. Now, may maybe. Maybe when we have the, the Wrathful Run. You! Thank you! I mean. Yes, I see. I mean, we we might not ever do it, but uh, okay, I see your point. But still, no knife, okay? Yeah. Right. According to that Tentamon guy, after me, you got away from our Kenimon. Why'd you say it like that? That's exactly how he said it. Tentamon. Uh, I think it's just Tentamon. Well, just say it like how I'd say it. Uh, Entaman! Yeah, okay, I can kind of see where you're coming from. Anyway, that's where she was headed. Entaman was one of the... Say it right. Entaman was the one who said it was the shiny place, right? The shiny place? It sounds lovely! But are we sure that's where she went? Not a doubt in my mind. He's always loved amusement parks. Oh, no, she suddenly realized one was here. He went straight for it. And that was a giant ring in the shiny place. It looked really cool! Besides, everyone knows kids are crazy about amusement parks. Bet you both like them too, right, Haru? Yuki? I don't know. No. What? You gotta be kidding me! You know, this also kind of makes sense right here, right? Because, uh, if we think about it logically, I mean, maybe there weren't amusement parks in their day, but I'm pretty sure that there would have been amusement parks since, like, the long ago, like, circuses and the like, were kind of like the amusement park of then to today's amu amusement parks. To a degree. I think. Anyway. But... If Miyuki is just really, like, kind of shadowing what Haru is saying at this point, we gotta remember that Haru is actually Renamon. And if Renamon is saying that she doesn't, uh, he doesn't know, then that would automatically, you know, mean that Miyuki would say, I don't know. Because she's just shadowing him. But she probably has been to an amusement park. We just don't know that yet. Hmm. But most likely Renamon just doesn't know. Hmm. Interesting. Things you pick up after you play. I don't know. Does that mean they've never been to an amusement park? Well, it sounds like she's probably at the amusement park. We better get going. Bye, everyone. Good luck. Oh no! I don't think so. They're both coming with us. Again? Why? Because we can't just leave you on your own. Knowing there are monsters kidnapping children. Isn't that right, everyone? Yeah, no objections from me. Me either. Oh. Okay. Okay. But, do we know the way to the amusement park? Saw from the radio tower yesterday. Finding it won't be a 
I'm pretty sure there's a path through the forest that leads in that direction. Right. I just gotta get through the forest. I'll take point. You guys stay close. <sighs> what are you sighing about? Actually, that reminds me. He was acting kind of weird yesterday. Hey, Haru? What? About yesterday, uh... What happened exactly? Yuki's always... Yuki's always kind of strange. Haru just seems... Off. He suddenly says something mature, or... Act like he's seen through things. Not really sure. Sorry. Okay. Sorry if I bothered you. Not aware of it himself? Hey, Takuma! Haru! Yuki! Hurry up or you'll get left behind! Oh, yeah! Wait up! Come on, you two. We need to hurry. Yuki, let's go. Oh. Yeah, see, she's kind of just shadowing him. But now that we've actually, like, beat the game, right? We, we can definitely point out some stuff that we honestly didn't really, like, notice the first time around. Just because we didn't know it at the time. Man, I feel like we've been walking forever. And still, we're not at the amusement park. It looked a lot closer up from that tower yesterday. Yeah, are we sure this even is the right way? You think I don't know where I'm going? And I will say, right, like... Chuji gets a really bad rap for a lot of the things that he has done. But honestly, like... Yeah, may maybe he's kind of like trying to protect his own cowardice and the like. But he's, uh, he's doing his darndest to try and keep everyone safe. And even though he really didn't want to basically do this in general, like, he still went through with it, and he was still pretty darn good at doing it. He's just somebody who's under a lot of stress, and has no way to really vent out that frustration other than to take it out on Lotmon. Or maybe it's just the simple fact that he sees a lot of himself in Lotmon, and he's taking out all that anger that he has for himself on the Lotmon. That's one way to look at it, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hey, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying, we could have gotten lost. It's difficult to maintain your sense of direction in the forest. Um, you want me to see if there's another way? If you tried and got lost, we'll be in twice as much trouble. Oh, yeah. Like, okay, yeah, he yelled at Lotmon, and he could have handled that in a much better, better way. But he does have a point. If Lotmon does get lost then basically we have to redouble our steps in order to try to find Lotmon when we're already trying to find Miu. He makes a lot of solid judgment calls, but it's just, like I said, under a lot of stress. <sighs> this is too much. I'm really starting to get tired. Aki, are you alright? Did we stop and rest? We don't got time to rest. Gotta keep moving. Yeah, the sun will set before we're out of the forest at this rate. Sorry, sister and I can't walk very fast. Sorry. It's not your fault. I think we're all a bit tired. You can say that again. Raito, Rackmon! Try to be more considerate. Sorry. Well, we gotta keep moving, don't we? Nakuma! You sure we should keep going like this? Actually, I'm starting to get a little bit worried about that myself. Should we keep on like this? Or try to find another way. 
Do we just turn back? Like, I I'm also saying, right? I, I feel like there definitely should be more Rio options. And, like, we haven't had, like, a little th buddy buddy thing with, like, Rio in a while either. So I'm a little bit worried on that front, you know? But let's go ahead and uh, do our next Valor option. We could turn back and try to find another way. Yeah. No, I don't think that's a good idea. If we start trying to go every which way, it just makes us more likely to get lost. But how are things better if we keep pressing on and never get to the amusement park? Uh, we're going the right way. What makes you so sure? Instinct. <laughs> No, I'm impressed you could say that with a straight face. Hey, standing around arguing like this is only going to wear us out more. We should keep moving, just at a slower pace. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, boss. That's got him so tense. My boy Rio is doing his best, okay? Let's just let it go. <laughs> ah, Rio. I never realized you were so mature. That's because you're just a total brat. <laughs> you look so offended. <laughs> you look so offended. I love it. <laughs> He's just like, there you. That's you for this. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great. I love it. Oh, that was great. Oh. But okay, so let's just go ahead and kind of like look at Chuji like separate from like you know when he gets really bad you know he does do a lot of good calls he has a lot of good freaking you know leadership skills and i think that's really good for him to do it for, for him to like you know kind of be like hey i'm the oldest i have a responsibility but, like, all together, like, he just does it in a very non-healthy way. Which is unfortunate. And you're looking at that. There's still no sign of an amusement park. I don't think I've been here before. I wonder if there's neat stuff around. Okay, listen. I don't think... I can keep this up... for much longer. Saki, you don't look so good. Well done to me, Saki! But you're only... two foot... Four I, I I'll grow! Something, Saki! I think maybe we better take a break. Yes! Considering that we may still have a ways to go, a short rest seems unavoidable. Try telling that to those two. Yuji and Kaito are both pressing on with no signs of slowing down. I understand why Kaito would be in a hurry. Why Shuji? Yuji, my legs are short. Shut up and keep walking. Ooh. Kunamano will remember that. Yuji, <laughs> it's no use snapping at him. Besides, we're all starting to get tired. And, and like, okay, look, I really like Ario right now. Like, he went from this scaredy cat to being kind of like this guy who is trying his best to keep this crew together. I love it! 
Like, he's very... He has a very nice personality. I love him. Well, I hadn't planned on resting... I don't know if I read this or not. Until we reached the amusement park. But maybe... Sounds like even Shuji's starting to waver. We stop for a break or press on. Kind of like to look around here. I want to look around. Hey, you mind if I take a look around? Oh, me too! Me too! Now? I don't really see the point. But how else would we know if there's anything dangerous nearby? Besides, that way maybe the others can stop and take a break. Is that why you brought that up? So we could rest? That's pretty thoughtful, Takuma. Yeah, Takuma's thoughtful all the time! What are you bragging about, Agumon? Uh, Alright, let's stop for a break. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sign that that of that fog nearby. Yeah, just, I don't sense anything scary like that. No compliments, Kaito? Uh, finally, I'm so tired. Saki, are you alright? Yuki, Haru, would you like to rest here with us too? Sure. Oh. Did that wake them up? Uh, I think they were just walking with their eyes closed. Never seen something so skillful before. Holy shoot. It was like... She was confident knowing where she was going to put her next foot down. And then the next step. And then the step after. I'm in total shock and yet... I'm in awe. I guess we really wore them out. It was perhaps too harsh a journey for two so young. Maybe. But it's not like we could have left him behind. Speaking of harsh, there's someone else I'm worried about too. You mean Lopmon? Um, I'm sorry, Shuji. I wound up slowing you down again. Just shut up and get some rest. We won't be stopping again until we get to the park. Like, okay. So, like, if we kind of take his toot out of this, right? He's being somewhat considerate if we just take away the attitude. Why am I trying to defend Shuji? I don't know. I'm just trying to look at it a different way, I guess. Like, yeah, his attitude isn't very good and it's not very nice. But, like, all together, like, there's a little bit more hidden beneath what we've seen of Shuji, I feel. And I feel like, especially on this channel, we've kind of painted Shuji in a bad light. And I'm not trying to, like, redeem him or anything. I'm sure that he'll redeem himself in a way. But, like, you know, it's also, like, we should really try and take a deeper look since we already got the full, like, the quote-unquote full story. Um, we might as well try and take a different look into, like, a couple of things. And Shuji's kind of like one of those people I feel like we need a better look into. Okay. And. It's like he's still gonna have it rough between here and the amusement park. Like, I, I get that, like, you know, his attitude is definitely there. And he's not saying it in the nicest way. But it's also kind of... I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying... I'm trying too hard here. Chuji's just a jerk. <laughs> but anyway... I better get some rest. I know we're on break. Maybe I should talk to them.
A lot of people. Don't. We can't talk to Rio. This upsets me. Let me talk to the boy. Owie. Hey, uh, Takuma. I wanted to thank you for what you did this morning. What did we do this morning? I have been doing this. Yeah, so. I just have to do events and get to Dreamland. Huh? I don't remember doing anything special. And I think we're gonna kind of skip most of this, because, I mean, like, if I do this, it'll skip until we actually kind of get to, like, new dialogue. But I guess this also kind of goes against what I'm trying to do, which kind of, like, look into uh, certain things where, like, you know, like, if we take it into, like, uh, you know, things and mistakes of monsters but hey what are we doing we just actually had a serious conversation i don't know like i do want to kind of get through this as you know fast as we possibly can not because you know i'm done with the game not because you know of anything of the sort i have already played it and i do want to get to other games but also i just want to really get to like the new stuff like, I'm eager. Like a beaver. Oh, hey, Takuma. Something bothering you. I was just thinking, maybe you should be spending time with Lopmon right now. I did not like that. That's not necessary. But it seems like his legs are really hurting him. Did that bother you? Those stupid little legs hurt. So what? He's a monster. He'll get over it. And this is where it's kind of like, there is no defending this behavior. Like, you could have argued that he's like, Oh, sh you know, I still got kind of like a soft spot. Just sh shut up and, and take some rest, b baka. You know, like he's like some kind of sundry, but nope, this is inexcusable right here. Don't have to be so nasty about it. Stupid things, no, nothing but a burden anyway. You can't do anything useful like Agumon or Falcomon. Why'd I get stuck with such a lousy monster like him? It's not fair. Sounds like Shuji may need more time before he's ready to open up to Lopmon. What? All right, so let's get moving again. What? Already? We just stopped. You had long enough. Right, we can't be wasting time here when we still got such a long way to go. Aito's right. This rate, next thing you know, the sun will be down. Who else that fog could come rolling in at any time? That's true. Really shouldn't stop for much longer than this. Has everyone gotten enough rest? Nakimi, Yuki, and Lotman all seem pretty exhausted. Almost worried about. Uh, we'll just say Saki, I guess. Wait, didn't we say Saki uh, last time too? Oh, no reason. Wait, is this because you're worried about me? Oh, don't be. I'll rest it up now. Yeah, you both got a nice chance to relax and take in the Vihu. This looks like she's feeling better. I guess she's good to go. I wonder if it has something to do with, like, you know, the whole medical thing that she has going on. Do I be putting up a disclaimer that this is, like, you know, after we played the game every single episode? Maybe I should. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows what could happen to me if we waste too much time? Don't have to tell me that. Let's go, everyone. Uh, a little bit here, a little bit there. Who knows? I don't know. I thought for sure we were in for more forests after we got over this pass. But... We're here. Finally, I can see the amusement park. Uh, uh, I just took about forever. 
And so that structure beyond those trees is an amusement park. That's the biggest building I've ever seen. Mew's in there somewhere. Don't worry, sis. I'm coming for you. Wow, Takuma, Takuma! A giant ring I saw yesterday is right there, too! Oh, the Ferris wheel. Look at all the colorful buildings. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I can't deal with them again. <laughs> no. God friggin' dang it. <laughs> hey, this is no time to be carried away. Sorry. Oh, come on. There's the harm in letting us have a little fun. No. Huge is right. Don't forget, one of us is obsessed with finding his sister. No. I can't imagine how Kaito must be feeling, okay? Just hold on, me. I'll find you as soon as I can. Kaito, I know you're worried, but try to keep it under control. The one thing that I'm kind of noticing is that Ryo's dialogue doesn't really have too much of a different effect on what uh, everyone else is kind of like saying. Like, I feel like I vaguely remember this conversation, and it, I feel like it went exactly as it's going. The main difference is that Ryo kind of chimes in once, and that's kind of the end of it. Focus too much on one thing? You're just asking to get blindsided. I know that. You, on the other hand, could do with a bit more focus, Minoru. You can say that again. Haru and Miyuki are sharper than you are, Minoru. Miyuki, we're almost there. We're almost there. My bad. Oops. Got scolded again. Hopefully this doesn't become a trait that's going to happen consistently oh no it is isn't it anyways we're not far now and since we've got no idea who or what might be inside we should be careful careful <laughs> love seeing my boy in this freaking scenery though my boy oh this really is an amusement park, even if it does look a bit run down. Compared to the state the school is in, this place is practically brand new. Being a cable car was surprising enough. Something about this place is just... weird. It's kinda creepy, honestly. Huh? Why is that? Are amusement parks normally scary? Yeah. No, it's not the amusement park itself that's creepy. It's more like... Silent. Kill you. It's weird seeing it like this, I guess. Sure. Empty amusement park gone totally silent. That's definitely spooky. I can look around on my own if you'd rather not go in. Oh no! I'm gonna be the first one inside! Here goes nothing! Woo! Wait! Wait! Did he say wait? Hold up, wait, no. I'm fairly certain he said wait, Minoru. Freaking future crow! Roll that back! Cut off your voice and roll that back. Do it. Now. Here. <laughs> Can you believe this? We get in for free. I need the season pass now. 
Unbelievable! Did we not establish that we should proceed with caution? Oh, come on! That was nothing! Nori's trying to play it cool, but I can see why the way his legs are shaking. Let's just pretend I didn't notice. So, what do we do now? What do you mean, Howie? Didn't we come here to look for Miu? Yes, that much is clear. She could be anywhere in this entire park. So we just gotta search the place from corner to corner. Sure, but doesn't that seem a little less than... efficient? This place is pretty big. Why don't we split up? Good idea! I'll go with you, Takuma! And, uh, I'll go with Suji! No, we don't know what might happen. We won't want to be separated if there's a fight. Yeah, got a point. We should all just stick together. We don't want anyone going missing. Juji as upset as he was this morning. I wasn't sure what to expect. He seemed a lot more confident since we got here. It really is reassuring when Shuji is able to keep it together. We're all going back to our world together. You got that? Yeah, Shuji. I'm pretty sure we all have got that. Hmm. This is gonna take forever. I guess there is safety in numbers. Shuji's <laughs> acting just like a chaperone. Like we need one! I wish he'd cut the crud already! Alright, let's head in! Oh no, why? This is not what I wanted when I decided that I wanted to pick up the game again. My brain cells can't handle this. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not reading this. I don't. I don't want to read this. You can't make me. This is. I'm only gonna read Rio at this point. Right. No, I'm I'm not reading this. <laughs> Look at how long this would have taken if we would have just like did this normally. That's how much time we spend with these guys! Jesus, Agumon, work this out, please. I don't see much hope of convincing them myself. Agumon, can you handle this? Um, I'm not sure, but... Try! And I'll help! Oh, we haven't kidnapped Tapukuma or his friends! And we don't work for our Kenimon! You expect us to believe that? Well, it's true! We were fighting Arukenimon just yesterday! What? The Arukenimon? That's right! She got away, but we did beat up one of her underlings. We all worked together to take him down. Him? What's Arukenimon's gender again? I've seemed to have forgotten! Uh, you're strong enough to beat someone like that! That makes you a real threat! Okay. <laughs> Dude, that would have taken forever just to. Oh god! I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I. Oh my God, they're back! Oh, look, Jesse. See, like that's what I like. You can skip, but then like once you get something new, it stops. It's amazing. I don't know how they did this, but mwah. compliments to the developers.
<laughs> Looks like we'll just have to mess these things up. What? You don't seriously intend to fight these little things, do you? Ugh. I don't feel great about it. But it's their fault for pissing off Kaito. Oh, stay back! We're not gonna lose to you. After all that talk, I hope you're ready for some action. It was dead serious. Anyway, I can keep this from getting out of hand. I um, have to get Kaito to calm down for now. But, however, this is where we're going to end this episode. I want to thank all of you for watching. And I hope you all are enjoying the jazz. Like, I... I... Where's Kunamon? Where's my other boy? Hmm. Oh well. I guess it's not terribly important. Anyways, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching today. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next recording but we also have to have a question of the day hmm? question of the day question of the day how have you been liking uh rio's involvement in the story so far now that he's survived go ahead and let me know what you think about that and i guess that's going to be it for right now all right bye bye everyone bro boy cute what you! No, Gunnamon, no! Yeah!